in our questionnaires, we asked them if they were uh, awake or asleep. And 50% of the time, they said they were awake. Mm. What's really weird about it is that when you walk into the room, it's not like they're usually seeing the person. You're not seeing them visioning. Their impression is that they're having visions. And, and one of the theories is that they're maybe they're lucid dreaming. Mm -hmm. So the sense of being more awake than they are. So one of the things that happened in dying is sleep architecture is destroyed, right? You, you, you progressively, it's fragmented often, but you're generally sleep. The, the tendency in dying, just like you do less physically, you do less wakefully as well. And mm -hmm. you sleep more. that, you know, very few acute deaths are acute. And it follows a pre predictable trajectory of sleeping more. Mm -hmm. So whether, um, you know, the nomenclature we're using is just wholly inadequate. Visions aren't really describing visions and dr patients go out of their way to tell us these weren't dreams. Mm. And we, we actually asked them in one search study to measure the realism on a zero to 10, 10 being the most real. And the most common number is 10. Wow. And they're just adamant this isn't like other dreams. And they're really, they're just, they're qualitatively very, very different. So we call them end of life experiences. I'm yes. not sure what they are. Uh, and, you know, <clears throat> we've long stopped trying to interpret. Um, yeah. And we're really just relaying what our patients are telling. And that's why filming them was so very, very important yeah. because um, so many assumptions are made. Otherwise, these people are confused, they're fe fail or free will feeble minded they're drugged, whatever. Um, and they're just not. Has yeah. there been any imagery or scans associated with their brains when uh, these types of uh, visions or dreams uh, take? No, there, there would be no point. Because, yeah, right. uh, I, I mean, I, I have a background in neurobiology. You're not going to find an organic basis for this, just like you won't. Somebody can't show you love. Um, yeah. It's really the mind, not the brain. And I, I, I think it's irrelevant. And the, you, you have to understand some of these patients were living on their own, yeah, driving their car. I mean, we went months before death. And Jeez. if you watch the videos, the thing that's most striking is, wow, they're, they're fully intact, aware. Um, and, and in some ways, um, they have heightened acuity. Mm. Uh, because they're intensely affected by these and processing these and relaying these. And that was actually the one fun thing about doing the book and the films was that nobody said no. Everybody wanted to participate. Amazing. And it's kind of really a good, it's kind of a very nice, speaks well of us because there was no okay. secondary gain, right? Yep. They're not looking their best and they're often sharing the real stuff of having lived the hard stuff, the muddy stuff, but they wanted to be heard and they wanted to contribute. So it's kind of cool. 